because it's easy to see everybody would have been a musician, isn't it? Um, well, since nobody introduced me, I can't start without introducing myself. I see new faces and I am happy that uh, we, 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 we kept the time and it's been a wonderful preparation by the choir team and today we're yielding the dividend of their sacrifice and once again on behalf of the choir team of this church I want you all to give them a big round of applause. Today, today we're going to be making a joyful noise unto the Lord. So if you're here to keep quiet, then I will just tell you to start living this wonderful home right now because you're in the wrong place. But if you're here to celebrate our Lord and to sing unto His glory and to clap and, 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 and thank Him for all that He has done in your life, you know, then you're in the right place. Without taking much of your time, I think... Uh, I want to move straight into the first item on my program. So I see a lot of Dutch people here. I live in the Netherlands and, uh, and sometimes I get confused when I hear Holland and I hear the Netherlands. And my confusion was put to test one day when I was coming in from Skipo. And then there was a lady from Nigeria who was entering the country for the first time. And she had the Netherlands visa. And she had sisters, relatives who were living in Holland. So when she got to the Marasache by the Skipo Point uh, immigration, and they checked her visa, she had uh, the good papers. She had three months multiple Schengen visa, so she had the permission to enter the country. And the man, after stamping her upon arrival, the man said, "You welcome to the Netherlands." And then the girl squeezed her face. Instead of celebrating, she was feeling very sad. Fortunately for them, I was the next person on the line. And then the lady said, well, I've spent so much time, so much money to join my family in Holland, and now you tell me I'm in the Netherlands. Then I think they somewhere, they, 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 they deceived me. They gave my money because I'm in the wrong country. Then the man said, no, it's the same thing. He said, then you're part of this scam. To the immigration man that you're part of this camp, please come on to go back and start my journey again because all I know is that I want to join my sister in Holland until I intervene. And thank God she was able to understand, so she entered. You know, one thing I like about the Dutch people is the fact that uh, how many of you have visited Dutch, real native Dutch people before? You know, they don't, if they want to serve you orange juice, Fanta, and things like that. They don't put the bottle on the table. They prefer to serve it in the glass and leave it there because they realized long time ago that sometimes some men can be very hungry. So when you put something sweet in front of them, they can start to use that to deputize in the absence of food. So they realize that they spend too much doing shopping on Fanta. So they, they prefer to put it in a glass and put it in front of you. Then you need the special grace of God to be able to ask for a second glass. So you end up drinking from one glass before you leave them. Put your eyes together for that reason. Thank you. So he's very curious and he wanted to know a lot of things in the Bible. So he uh, there was a Bible lesson and, and, and the teacher was a Bible teacher. So the, the little boy asked the teacher, he said, excuse me, sir. Is it true that the children of God revolted against God in the wilderness? Then the, the teacher said, yes. He said, is it also true that the children of God actually, the children of Israel, sorry, the children of Israel actually stayed in the land of Egypt? The teacher said, yes. Is it actually true that the children of Israel went through the Red Sea? The Red Sea was divided. The teacher said, yes. Is it also true that the children of Israel <laughs> actually, when they got to, the, 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 from the children of Israel, some people were sent to spy the land? The teacher said yes, but the teacher became very worried, like you are worried right now. <laughs> I said, but why all these questions? So the young boy said, but 
when the children of Israel were busy doing all of this, where were the men of Israel? <laughs> because every time I hear the children, the children, they must have been very busy. What were the men doing? <laughs> and the only the children were busy taking all these responsibilities. So, um, without, without much ado, um, you know, uh, we're going to be saying a lot of that because in the program, what you have in front of you, um, there are a lot of groups who's going to display their talents and sing unto the glory of the Lord today. The Bible said, I wish above all things that thou may have prospered and be in good health, even as a soul prospered. Today, I release that prosperity into your life in the name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that I say, chapter 1, the Lord said, wherever thy feet train, you will possess. Your feet has trained this land, and ye shall possess this land in the name of Jesus. Every eye of the enemy that will want to look at you and tell you every reason why you cannot succeed, I blind it tonight. I said, I blind it tonight. If you believe in me, lift up a big hallelujah to Jesus. Sorry that I'm a little bit, you know, taking you around here and there, but there are certain things my spirit must allow me to speak. Otherwise, I will wrestle with my spirit. You know, there's this popular man of God who owns a very big mega church in my country, in Nigeria. You know, one Sunday he was preaching. And as he was preaching, he told the congregation, he said, by the time you live here today, when you get home, you must lift your body onto your shoulders. So everybody was filled with the anointing and they left for home. And there was this very dedicated member when he got home, he attended the service alone without his wife. When he got home, he was so excited. So he lifted up his wife and he started singing praise unto the Lord. So the wife was wondering, huh? Ah, honey, what happened in the service today? And the man told the wife, he said, the, the man of God said, by the time we get home, let us lift our body upon our shoulder. So you already know whose body in the man is, right? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay, um, I want to call on the next group on my list. But I just forgot something now. But before I go, I, I, I want to remind you. How many of you know Pope John Paul before he died? Pope John Paul, the leader of the Catholic Church. You know, I know to many of you why Pope John Paul was in that Vatican spot where it was shown live. On the very day he died, there were two Nigerians that were with him. You know, when he was about to die, he told the people in the Vatican, the papacy, he said, listen, I will never die without seeing some special two people. They said, who? He said, these people are Nigerians, I need them. And they happen to be our former leaders. General Lucian, no, sorry. Um, yeah, I don't know if anybody here will report me. Um, yeah, you know, Apacha and Babangida, you know, for those Nigerians here, you know them, they were one time uh, head of state, military head of state. So the, immediately the, the Nigerian embassy in Rome was informed, and then they had to use the Vatican plane to go pick them from, from, from Abuja. So when they got to Abuja, they said, ah, Babasan Jafra. Oh, oh, okay, some of you don't hear this one. Um, how far means how are you? Pope won't die, you mean Pope is about to die. And Pope said, Oh, go and reach you come. Or meaning Pope said, We should come and bring you people down. So they brought them, they flew them into Rome and took them to the Vatican. So when they got there, the Pope was murmuring, you know, and he said, The Vatican should stay by the right hand side. And Abasha should stay by the left hand side. So he held them both. And then he started speaking in tongues. And then everybody was wondering, what is this man saying? And then the people too were wondering, what is this man saying? And then uh, Babangida was able to summon the courage to ask, Pope, why did you bring us here? 
And the Pope said, well, if you insist in knowing, you know, my mentor was Jesus Christ. And when he was dying, he died between two thieves. 